for more on the Yankees, specifically one of their top prospects. So let's bring in one of our favorites, Jonathan Mayo. He's covering the prospects and the minor leagues for MLB.com. Hey, uh, the Yankees, Jonathan, are calling up Oswaldo Peraza. What, what are the expectations? How much could we see this young man playing at shortstop? I have to think if they're calling him up, Roflo, he, he's going to play. I mean, he was a guy, I think some people are surprised he's still a Yankee because the, there's a lot of talk that he would be one of the prospects traded for them to bring in pitching. The Yankees did a great job, you know, getting Frankie Montas without parting with Peraza. They've got Anthony Volpe behind him, but Peraza's ready. Uh, he'd be an upgrade right now in terms of offensive production by a lot. I mean, this is a guy who uh, you know, has added a lot to his swing, as we see there. Uh, there's a ton of power. I think he was a homer away from a 2020 season in AAA uh, when he got the call. The approach still needs some work. He's only 22. He's a good shortstop. Uh, you know, I don't know that he's you know as good as what they have right now, but he'd be fine there, and he'd be an offensive upgrade. He's also played a handful of games at second base, so you know, if you needed to give Torres a day and have him play second, he could slide over and be just fine there as well. All right, so we'll have to see how much we will see of Oswald Peraza as the uh, Yankees begin a series tonight against the Tampa Bay Rays. Meantime, the Blue Jays, who are in that division, of course, fighting for the playoff uh, a spot as well. In your mind, w which of their prospects could make the biggest impact as we enter the month of September? I'm going to cherry pick off the top and go with Gabriel Moreno, uh, the catching prospects, one of the, the best prospects in all of baseball. He's been up before, so the Blue Jays know that he can handle it. Uh, hitting 314 in AAA this year, 365 in this last month, so he's hot right now. There hasn't been any power. That's the one thing. We're not sure how much power he's going to hit. But for the right now, he's a better hitter than Danny Jansen. He's a better defender than Alejandro Kirk. You let Kirk DH, let the bat play, and let Moreno catch. He's also you know, athletic enough where he can play third or first if, if those guys needed a day off or put them at DH. But this is a guy who handles the bat well. He's got good bat control. He's got very good catch and throw skills. You know, In terms of long-term prognosis, that power is the big question mark. But for this last month, I think it would make them a, a better lineup down the stretch. Now, the Cleveland Guardians, they've been one of the surprise teams so far in the 2022 campaign, and they have a prospect that you think could have a big impact on the remaining part of the regular season, maybe the postseason, and it's a, uh, a name that many would be familiar with. Sure, a little uh, sibling uh, reunion with the Nailers. This is Bo Nailer, Josh's younger brother. You know, Josh once upon a time was a, a catching prospect and quickly had to move out, but Bo Nailer can actually really catch. And it's weird to have you know, catchers uh, talking about September call-ups and giving them a lot to do, but he's thrown out 34% this year. He's a good defender now. He's not Austin Hedges. But, you know, Austin Hedges and Luke Maley have combined it 201 this year. If you want an offensive upgrade, then Naylor is the answer. Uh, he can run. He's got some pop, 14 homers and 20 steals. Uh, and he's and he's very good behind the plate. So you could mix and match. You could probably even give Naylor some DH at-bats if you wanted to get that bat into the lineup. Uh, but uh, I think that would be an offensive upgrade, uh, much in the way that Peraza would be an upgrade for the Yankees offensively. Well, I know Josh Naylor would love to have his uh, have his brother join him in Cleveland for this playoff push. Jonathan, we appreciate the time, and it was pointed out to me that you might have a bobblehead of yourself behind you. Is that true, and why? <laughs> it, 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 well, you know, I had to, uh, it, it, if you can see, it's over my right shoulder right there. I can't really. There yeah, he there he is. <laughs> Um, you know, it was given to me as a 50th birthday party, I presume, so my wife can remind me what I looked like when I was 50, 10 years from now. There you go. Very good. <laughs> hey, well, Jonathan, we appreciate you joining us. Thanks for the information. Enjoy your holiday weekend. Thanks.